You know, I was thinking about earlier, what is the relationship between the sovereignty of God, that conviction of that biblical truth that God is absolutely reigning supreme at all times, that every detail and every big sweeping motif of creation, of humanity, of history, and of our personal lives, that he's in charge, that he's the king, and that his sovereign reign extends into every detail. What is the relationship between that most biblical conviction and idea and worry? You know, sometimes I think, man, I should be more worried about this thing or that. And uh, then I'll realize, you know, I'm not all that worried about it. Uh, and in the simplest terms, I'll start to think, God's got this. Now, I seldom think of things in terms quite that simple. It's a real curse, in fact. Uh, but more specifically, you know, it's like God is working things out in every detail, no matter where we're at. Psalm uh, 48, 14, I'll put it in the video description. It's um, this beautiful passage of scripture that God will be our God always, even to the end. You know, no matter what you're going through today, no matter what challenges you face, the little ones, little little hills, big mountains, whatever they are, oh, everything ranging from just, you know, how am I going to accomplish all my tasks to uh, disease and sickness or pain or whatever is going on. God will be our God. That's his promise. And he'll be our God right up to the very end. So you and I can go through trials and daily life with the firm conviction that, hey, God's got this, you know, he saw us through the past and he will carry us through to the very end. He who, he who saved us is faithful and he will see it through to completion. Listen, God bless you today. Remember this one notion, the God who is king of everything is concerned even down to the very details and not just now and not just back then, but to the very end. God bless you today. Amen.